one o'clock. Huh. I wonder what wakened me. A hand. A hand. Someone's drawing back the curtain in my bed. Who? What are you? What do you see? The figure of a child. But the hair is white with age. A branch of holly in your right hand. And my face. Look at my face. It's familiar. Familiar and at the same time strange. It is the face of everyone you have ever known. I am the ghost of Christmas past. Rise and walk with me. This way. Out of the window. Why not? Come. Well, but uh, I'm immortal. I'm liable to fall. Bear but a touch of my hand here upon your heart and you'll be upheld in more than this. Come. It's an open road. An open country road. Good heavens. I know this place. I was a boy here. I remember. Oh, I remember so many things. You remember the way? Huh. I could walk it blindfolded. It's strange to have forgotten it for so many years. There, look, up ahead. It's the old schoolhouse. And here come the boys going home for Christmas. But the school isn't quite deserted. A solitary little boy neglected by his friends is left behind. Yes, I remember. My, uh, my father, he, uh, he didn't like children. Come, we'll go in. Oh, same old schoolroom, bleak and bare. And there, that lonely little fellow reading with a feeble fire. You remember him? Why, wait, it's me. Fallen asleep over my book. Poor little shaver. Look, the door is opening. A little girl in coat and bonnet is coming in. It's my sister, Fan, little Fan. Fan? Why, it's little Fan. Yes, I've come to bring you home. Home? I'm going home for good and all. Isn't it wonderful? Father is so much kinder than he used to be, and we're to have Christmas together, and you're never coming back here. Never, never. God bless her, Fan. She, uh, she died, you know. She died a woman, Scrooge, and had children. While she lived, she had a home. She was happy. Stop, spirit. Don't talk to me. I've seen enough. Take me home. Take me home again. Take me home. Why? Why, I'm alone in my bedroom. I, oh, I'm weary. Sleep, sleep. I must sleep. What? Oh, what's that? Huh. Clock struck. Clock struck one. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. It's time for him to appear, the second one. Why? There's a light in the sitting room. Enter, Ebenezer Scrooge. But, uh, uh, but this isn't my room. What have you done to it? An awful mess. <laughs> it's jollier, don't you think? I transformed it with holly and ivy and mistletoe and a great fire roaring up the chimney. And look here, piles of turkeys and geese and barrels of oysters and wreaths of sausages, mince pies, plum puddings. But come in, man, come in and know me better. Who are you? Why, you look like Father Christmas himself. I am the ghost of Christmas present. Spirit, take me where you will. If you have aught to teach me, let me profit by it. Then touch my robe. Hold fast, Ebenezer Scrooge. See, it's Christmas morning. People are shoveling snow from the pavement in front of their doors and from the tops of their houses. But come, the steeples are calling all good people to church. Here they come in their best clothes and their gayest faces. And so they gather to worship the Spirit of Christ, in whose name we celebrate this day. But first we go to visit the Cratchits. You mean Bob Cratchit, my clerk? Even so. For his is a family that understands the meaning of the word Christmas. The potatoes are almost done, Mother. Don't let them boil over. I've been to the baker's and smelled the goose. Oh, that's nice, dear. Wherever's your precious father and your brother, Tiny Tim, and Martha? Surely they're not going to keep her working on Christmas Day. Here's Martha, Mother. She's coming now. Hello, Mother. Martha. Hello, youngsters. Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> we thought maybe you weren't coming. Look. Look, there's Father coming. He's riding Tiny Tim on his shoulder. Hide, Martha, hide. We'll tell him you can't come. <laughs> All right. Hello, Mother. Hello, dear. Uh, where's our Martha? 
She's not coming. Martha not coming on Christmas Day? Here I am, Father. Well. <laughs> They're just fooling. <laughs> Martha, Martha, help me down. How's my tiny Tim? You children run along and get the goose. We're, We're going, going to get the goose. goose. I'll go and have a look at the plum pudding. You want to come, tiny Tim? Want to come? That's a boy. Here's your crutch. How did little Tim behave? As good as gold, Mother. He told me coming home he hoped the people in church saw him because he was a cripple and they might like to remember on Christmas Day who made lame beggars walk and blind men see. Oh, Bob, if only we could do something for the little fellow. Yes. If we only had some money. Oh, I, I'm so afraid. Shh, here he comes back. Here's the goose. Ain't he a whopper? How about a taste of hot punch to warm us up, oh, eh? Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. Some for every one of us. Here you are, Mother, oh, and you. Tiny Tim, too. Now, hold fast. <laughs> up you go on Daddy's shoulder. <laughs> now then, a toast. A toast. Oh, yes, to Mr. Scrooge, the founder of the feast. Oh, that old skinflint. Mother, on Christmas and before the children. Oh, very well. Here's to him. And now then, a Merry Christmas to us all, my dears. God bless us. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. God bless us, everyone. Time is almost over. It is the quarter before midnight. Uh, forgive me if I ask, but what is that protruding from beneath your cloak? A claw or a foot? I have shown you the beautiful side of Christmas, but there is still ugliness in the world. I try to hide it, but here, beneath my cloak, look. A boy. A boy and a girl. Yellow, ragged, wolfish. Who are they? The boy is ignorance. The girl is want. Beware, O oh man. For on their brows is written the word doom, unless the writing be erased. Have they no refuge, no resource? Are there no prisons? Are there no workhouses? Remember your words. Oh, no, no. That's 